But at the end of this one, one of these teams will sit for now atop the Big Ten standings. An empty backfield look. They set up the screen. This was really lucrative last week for Maryland. Those screen plays out of the edge. The perimeter are going to be so key today. And, and look who they go to, Ty Felt. No, third and eight. Third, third down in the opening series. Edwards evading tackle, shovels it dangerously. It was snatched out of the air. Then they're pushing the pile here, trying to get this first down. See if they got it. I think they did, and after all of that, Michigan State sideline vehemently coming out on the field. And now the refs are trying to push it back to their sideline, saying they didn't. Well, I'm not sure the officials knew where the ball was, Jason. That might be why there was no whistle. The prestidigitation on display from Billy Edwards as the pass rush getting home, that blitz getting into the pocket, affecting Edwards, and he was able to underhand flip the football and ends up moving the chains for the Terps. Comfort behind center. A willing runner as well. We haven't seen that yet. Screen game set up again. We have seen this because it's working right now. What's in the red zone now? Neither team liked the red zone performance a week ago. One on one again. This time it might be successful. It is. Ty Felton touchdown. Nice run action in the backfield set up this teardrop for Billy Edwards. Terrapins offense picking up right where they left off in week one. And after a few misses, some narrow. Just 18 years old right now, making his first Big Ten conference game start. Try to get him going early with the screen to Montori Foster. Quick throw to the sideline, and that is caught and hauled in. Michigan State on the plus side of the 50 now after the penalty and a couple of positive plays. Here's a positive play for Nate Carter. Broke to the second level, and he sets up Michigan State in the red zone. Childs to the end zone again in a crossing route, and that is caught. Montori Foster, Michigan State answers right back. Foster is a player that needed to respond to his week one performance as well. They bring him in motion, and he's off the ball. So in man-to-man -man coverage, especially when you're... Good pocket for Edwards. Crossing route complete. Make it five for five on third down today. And Quick snap, set up screens. It's Wade again. The tight end hit promptly there by Wayne Matthews, who's back in his home state. Largo, Maryland native. Got a ton of family here. He's their honorary captain for today. MSU backed up in front of a lot of Maryland fans with noise in their ears. They go over the middle. That is intercepted. It's Glendon Miller. Back-to-back -back weeks with the Glendon Miller interception. And he sets up Maryland inside of the red zone. Their ball hawk in the secondary continues to do it big. He's been in the spotlight early on. Second straight week with an INT. Now the offense takes over in the red zone. Looking for the edge and trying to cut it back inside. There was Ray, who had his first career touchdown a week ago. It has more than paid off. First and goal now. Going back, it's Billy Edwards this time into the end zone. He goes. It was a 16-10 win over Florida Atlantic. Flag goes flying. Childs back to the air. Once Velling, who had to adjust his body. Beautiful catch, but will it stand is the next question here. Legal formation. Offense, number 66, was lined up in the backfield. Five-yard penalty from the previous line of scrimmage remains first down. Going to a decent spot. It just took off on him. He's got to get his feet set so he'd be accurate on those throws. So, been pleased in general. Obviously, we don't want to give him the ball like that. Defensively, making them earn it. We put a couple of drives. Yeah, they scored on the first one. We got off the field, and then we gave them the ball in the fifth. And in a spot of the field where you definitely want to get this, Giles trying to get there. We'll see where they mark it. They'll try to run it here, pick up the four, maybe more. On the outside, they are going to get more. K. Ron Lynch Adams, an authoritative ending to that run. Could be a somewhat of a revolving door today. Second and 23. Deep shot for the end zone. Touchdown. They get it all back. Jerron Glover, a chance to tie the game with the extra point. A 
Thanks, Kylan. Really good stuff. Billy Edwards faced with another third down here. They've been really successful on third down so far today. That success is going to continue with a nice run from McDonald. Another back in this slew of people they can put in the backfield behind Edwards. Third down snap. Well protected over the middle. They'll have to create some yards after the catch. And it's closed down quickly. Angelo Gross with the initial hit on Ty Felton. That'll shut down this drive for Maryland and force the punt. Only conference game in the Big Ten this week. Maryland and Michigan State. Chow is trying to extend this drive with under two minutes to go in the half. And Velling hold that in. But where do they mark it on the forward progress? Two minutes. Clock will stop with a change reset on a first down. Chow's rolls out. Might have another first down here. They do. Pressure came off the edge. He got it away to Marsh, who had to extend to hold that in. They're going to mark this as a first down as well. A gaping an eye on that battle. Spartans in plus territory. Another quick throw. Another Nick Marsh catch. Clock starts up again, taking inside of 15 seconds in the half. Pressure from behind and dropped. The eight. This for the lead. And it is off the mark. There is a flag that came out, though. All side. On the far Defense, side of the 22. field. Five-yard penalty. Remain second down. Here's Jonathan Kim. This time, he's got it. And the Spartans on the road as the underdog will take a three-point slim edge to the locker room in the Big Ten Conference opener for their legs. Michigan State had some good clock management down the stretch in the first half. They go to Nate Carter on the opening play of the second half. Good protection. Maryland only rushes three. That is caught by Jerron Glover. Where do they mark it? They mark it for a first down. Has looked so much more comfortable this week than last week. Tayron Lynch Adams had a big run last week. Breaks through the first level this time and gets inside of the 40 down to the 35. <laughs> Little trickery here. They've worked on this in practice. It is Glover inside of the 30 and down to the 21 yard line. Again, good protection for Childs. Wants the end zone with Masunis. And was that picked off inbounds? Looks like this time it was from Jalen Husky. At times, they wanted another one. It didn't work out. Now Edwards going to the air, this time himself. Down the sideline, it's hauled in. A big play to set up in plus territory for the Terps. And look who it is, the man you pointed out in the open, Ty Felton. Coverage is tighter somehow. Felton keeps coming up with it. And now a run up the middle for another first down and a big chunk. Maryland offense feeding off from one play to the next. Ty Felton. Maryland with five receivers in this set. Blitz off the edge from Gross didn't get there. Now Edwards, you wanted to see more of his legs in the second half. He scoops out of bounds short of the yard to gain. Howes is able to put it through. His first 40 plus this season. Chow's down the seam and it is hauled in. We'll see where they mark it. Right up near the yard to gain. Spartans are seven of nine on third down today. Been a strong suit in this offense. Chow's gonna try to run for it. See where they mark him. Needed nine. Back here in College Park, the site of the first Big Ten Conference game of the season. A little trickery downfield, and that ball is intercepted, but will they call it out of bounds? Pass interference. Defense, number zero. 15-yard penalty for the previous line scrimmage. Automatic. First down. Michigan State defense. Edwards trying to extend the drive, gets Felton in space. That's worked out a few times today. Picks up a first down out to the 50-yard line. The top of the screen with the linebacker Wayne Matthews in coverage. 
Edwards goes to the crossing route with Caden Prather. Looks like he has enough to keep this drive going. Up to run it, set up some good blocks. Which should be a first down heading into quarter four. Conference opener, fourth quarter. Here we go. Billy Edwards might have a touchdown here. He does. Blown coverage on the back end. Maryland takes advantage and finds the end zone with Dylan Wade. Of every Michigan State offensive drive now, trying to implore their defense to a stop. Childs, deep shot, once Marsh, he has him in stride! Nick Marsh, the freshman star for Michigan State, creating a name for himself on the fly in his first Big Ten game. For Michigan State, back him up to first and 15. Nate Carter, doubled up in the backfield. Right there to make the play was Kellen Wyatt. Giles, that ball is available. Who has it? Maryland appears to have possession. Gloves, when we turn on the film. Now he's coaching him. Third and five. Edwards looking tall in the pocket. Finds the route over the middle. Another crosser. Those have been really producing. Ty felt again. He was able to turn the nose of the football over in a really rapid manner. Right back to the air, dangerously deflected. Was that intercepted? It was. Spartans take it right back, and it is Charles Brentley who's able to scoop that up off the turf. Let's go. Let's finish the job as they went on the field. Gashing another seam up the middle here, and third and 13 here. A big one in this conference opener. Edwards has a target, has a first down into Michigan State territory. Another big third down completion. Thanks, Kylan. We'll see what they do on third down here. Up to run it instead of going to Felton. Went with Hemby, and at the moment, they're from 41. Jack Howes, really important field goal. It is off the mark. He missed it. So still remains Spartans to take back over with under five to go all three timeouts and the two-minute timeout Nick Marsh is open downfield They have him again big shot big play for the freshman He has operated so well on third down today the opt to hand it off. Spartan defense was ready. Malik Spencer in there again, leading the way. Charles had a good pocket. His receiver got tangled up. He wanted Marsh. Late flag came in. Late flag came in, so we'll see what this is for. Pass interference. Defense, number 22. The ball be placed at this body infraction. Automatic. First down. When the receiver gets up onto the feet of the defensive back, then as a DB, that's where you have to be able to absorb a bit of that contact. Childs will take off, can use his legs, lowers his shoulder, picks up enough for a first down. Final two minutes of each half, clock stops, they reset the chains on a first down. Receiver slipped in Montori Foster, but somehow still made the catch, basically from the seat of his pants. For they feel comfortable with Jonathan Kim, their kicker from as far as 58. Go back to the air, another completion, another first down with Marsh. He gets out of bounds. They try to sneak it ahead with Childs. Does he have enough for a fresh set of downs here? Along that right hash. One more deep breath for Jonathan Kim before a 37 yarder. He nailed it. Jonathan Kim with one second on the clock. In all likelihood, gives Jonathan Smith, his head coach, his first Big Ten win. Trade Childs. Well, here we go. Maryland's last chance. Prather will shovel it back to Felton. 
Now he reverses backwards onto Edwards. Goes cross field to Hemby. Trying to come up with a Maryland miracle. It is Prather now. Once again, and he gets tripped up by Cal Holiday. Fittingly, it's the experienced linebacker for Michigan State who ends the game. And the underdog the Spartans over. come in under their head coach, Jonathan Smith, and give him his first Big Ten win. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.